I'm not too sure if you'll need it, but I thought, hey, somebody may have some questions about the surface area to volume ratio and what is that big deal. So, without further adieu, I bring you the surface area to volume video tutorial. I would bring some snacks because this is going to be intense and awesome. I hope you brought those snacks. You're going to need them. Surface area to volume ratio is pretty important in things like plant roots where they have a whole lot of surface area okay, um, and not a lot of volume. right? Um, if you have a lot of surface area let me draw this for you. Increased surface area equals good when it comes to plants. Surface area allows for the more um, transport of, uh, of, of water and scrumptious materials to go into your mouth. If you're a plant, your roots, okay? So the more surface area, the better when you're up the roots and I think that's the number one example when it when it really is important to calculate the surface area to volume ratio because like I said more surface area equals good for plants more opportunity for water and nutrients to get into the plant and therefore growth is is great so let's just say that this is our happy little root it's not happy enough Okay, this is our happy little root, and it happens to be a cube of three centimeters all over the place. So let's do this surface area to volume ratio. Area to volume. That is my telephone. Okay, I'm back. That was just my grandma. Uh, surface area to volume ratio. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Surface area to volume ratio is indeed just the surface area and the volume. So, surface area equals, we have a three centimeter, let's find the area of one square. You're thinking to yourself, this is baby math. Um, which is why I made this tutorial, because it's easy to think more of something with such a long you can't argue with a word like ratio such a long title it's it's intimidating so how do you find the surface area how do you find the area of the surface of the object we have a cube a cube has a three centimeter by three centimeter side so base times height area is so we're going to do three centimeters times three centimeters that'll give us the area of one face of this cube how many faces how many faces does this cube have a cube has six so we're gonna multiply this by six and that gives us a grand toto of if you're doing it on your calculator good for you don't don't be hasty 54 centimeters squared that is the surface area the area of all the surfaces of this object combined Let's find the volume. The volume is equal to the base times the height times the width. So what we have here is three centimeters times three centimeters times three centimeters, which equals, are you doing this? Do you got it? Did you put it in your calculator? 27 centimeters cubed. Okay, so we found our surface area. We found our volume. The only thing left to do is put them in a ratio. So let's do that. We have surface area to volume ratio. You can either do a ratio in a fraction or using colons. So let's do a fraction first. So what we have here is 54 centimeters cubed, uh, squared over 27 centimeters cubed. When you simplify this, it actually equals 2 over 1. Or, 
you can write it like this. 2, colon, 1. So, let's put a box around these. You have to simplify it. You have to make sure that you have the surface area first and then the volume. So the surface area to volume ratio for this little homeboy, and look at how happy it is. Look at it. I'm a homeboy. Look at how happy this homeboy is. Um, two to one. Surface area to volume ratio. Two centimeters, two centimeters squared for every one centimeter cubed. Okay? That's it. Like I said, you got to know the function. The reality is, why is this important? Nutrients. We went over that. Good day. I hope you finished your snacks.